Good morning, beloved. This is your grace note for Wednesday, May the 26th, 2021. I want to share with you a few verses from Psalm 25. It actually begins at verse 4. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. And my hope is in you all day long. Remember, O Lord, your great mercy and love, for they are from of old. So show me your ways, guide me in your truth, teach me, for my hope is in you all day long. So much of our lives as a person of faith are about living that faith each day. Um, I think about how Jesus came out of the Jewish context of faith. We call it the Judeo-Christian heritage. And being rooted in that, Jesus as a teacher and, the, and what we see in his life is rooted in patterns of living. The Jewish philosopher and theologian Martin Buber said that the distinction in the world around us is not between holy and unholy. It's between the holy, that which is of God, and that which is not yet holy. I love that. So Rabbi Harold Kushner, who is favorite, uh, who is known for his work when bad things happen to good people, has made the comment that God's holiness can enter our life and turn what is ordinary into extraordinary. So the pattern of our life, um, the pattern of our spiritual life as a person of faith, can make that transition, can make that um, transformation from just making ordinary moments into truly holy moments. So how do we do that? Well, we allow the patterns of life and faith that are in the Bible to become part of our day. And in that way, we turn ordinary moments into extraordinary moments. And that which is not yet holy into something holy. So what are some examples? Well, praying before a meal. Saying a blessing. It's really, we kind of get this a little bit off. We say it's a blessing for the food. It is, but it's really blessing God, thanking God for the blessing of the food. Um, so praying each day can turn just an ordinary moment into a holy moment. Um, making Sunday what some have called a sanctuary in time. Uh, setting aside Sunday as the Sabbath is a way of sanctifying it where Actually, God sanctifies it. So God takes that time and it turns it into something just ordinary where you could do or, you know, focus on anything into what's been described as a sanctuary in time. I love that. So are you making your Sundays a sanctuary in time by being in the sanctuary and then changing your pattern of living, resting as God intended? And then another example is giving to the poor or serving the poor. In that moment, we as ordinary people become instruments of God. So I love that Martin Buber saying that our world is not divided between the holy and the unholy. It is distinguished by that which is holy, sanctified to God, and that which is not yet holy. So the way we participate in that transformation is by seeking the ways, the path of God. So show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths, your way of life. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. May that be true of us. Let's pray. God, we thank you for a beautiful and bright day another opportunity for ordinary things to become extraordinary because of your presence and grace. May it be so in our life as we 
shape the patterns of our thinking, our actions, our relationships, our focus, so that we may be focused on you and experience the grace of your holiness, transforming the ordinary into extraordinary. This we pray in Christ's name. Amen. We love you. We pray for you. We think of you each day, and I hope to see you Sunday. It's Memorial Day weekend, but even if you're traveling, we'll be praying for you, and we'll see you the next week. But if you're here, see you Sunday.